What is up everybody, I'm Get Flanked. Today I'm gonna be talking about how you can practice your movement and shooting mechanics as a new Rainbow Six Siege player. We're gonna be heading into the training grounds to play an elimination match, and I'll be talking about what I think you should be focusing on as you're practicing. But first, we gotta check out some settings, okay? There are some settings here in the options that are specific to training grounds. If you go to matchmaking preferences here, you can select which game mode you actually play in the training grounds. The two that I would recommend would be either elimination or protect hostage. Protect hostage is gonna be playing as a defender with the AI bots coming at you. Elimination is gonna be playing as an attacker with you going into the map after AI bots that are spread out around the map. The next thing that I would have you do is change this to headshot only. That's gonna make your practice more important and make sure that you're focusing on good crosshair placement, as well as making sure that your shots count instead of just spraying and praying. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is look at the maps that you have selected. I turn everything off except for Coastline. Coastline is my favorite training grounds map, but for a new player, I would suggest that you pick one of the core maps like Clubhouse turn it on and practice that for maybe like a week until you learn it and have the good, you know, a good feel for the layout. Then you can turn that one off and switch it to another core map and kind of go through that way. That way you're, you know, you're not only practicing your movement and your shooting mechanics, but you're learning the maps as you go. That's very important. With that said, let's jump into elimination on training grounds right now. Okay, here we go. Lone Wolf, Elimination, Normal Difficulty on Coastline. And when you're selecting your operator, make sure you're using one that you actually use in game and that you enjoy playing. That way you're getting used to their weapon recoil, you're getting used to their attachments, uh, you get some practice with their gadget as well as you go along here. Just makes it more efficient. Now I'm gonna give you a couple things to focus on as you're practicing and training rounds when it comes to your movement and shooting. And the first thing we'll talk about is the leaning mechanic in Siege. So let's open this door up. And the only thing I really want you to focus on in the beginning is just making sure that you're leaning the right way. So if you're approaching this door edge from this side, make sure you're leaning to the left as you come around and not to the right. If you're leaning like this and coming around this edge, you're gonna expose a lot of your body before you actually get line of sight. And that's a perfect example right there. If you lean this way and you come around, then you'll get vision around the corner with just a very small portion of your hitbox actually exposed. Okay, the next thing I want you to focus on is spending a significant amount of your time walking around ADS. And I think that's a little bit different than other FPSs. I feel like you spend more time ADS and moving around and Siege than you do in other games. But I think it's very important uh, as I'm going to enter a big room here, okay? I'm gonna be clearing this room with my sights up. That way I can snap onto a target, quickly and get shots accurately downrange very fast, okay? So we don't wanna walk into a room like this. That's the big thing. We want to walk into the room ADS and ready for a fight. And we're kind of clearing as we go across. So this is all clear now. We're gonna keep ADS and clearing this room until we go across, keep clearing, okay. Now we've cleared over there. We'll head this way where we see an enemy, okay. And that's how you wanna be moving through these maps. Just clearing with your sights up. We'll keep moving down this hallway now. Sights are up, trying to clear all the all the nooks and crannies in all these rooms. We see somebody there, and this is another area you can kind of focus on. Get, get squared up to these corners as you come around them. You don't want to come around this corner like this and then be turning. Instead, you got that information, square up to it, come around. And that's a much better way to, to peek that corner than, rather than coming around like this and then turning. So keeping those three things in mind, you're gonna keep moving through the map, trying to clear as much as you can with your sights up, focus on leaning the right way, exposing as little of your hitbox as you can when clearing corners and going into areas. Also try to focus on getting that information, squaring yourself up to these corners and paying attention to where your crosshair is. That's one of the most important things that determines who's gonna win a gunfight in Siege is crosshair placement. And granted, these bots, they're not gonna be in your necessarily like the typical places that players will be, but they do give you a good indication as far as, as far as like head height, when it comes to kneeling, when it comes to standing. Okay, so at this point, we are down to the last three enemies. Usually they will start running at you at this point. So you can use this as a good opportunity to listen to sound cues and start learning how that sound, directional sound works in Siege. And that's, that's good practice as well. So again, all this stuff that as, as, if you practice it as you go, it just makes training grounds experience much more efficient and your time spent here 
very, very useful. All right. So there you have it. That's how I suggest you practice in training grounds, work on that movement, work on those shooting mechanics. Hopefully in no time, you will be snapping on people and have that really good aim in Siege.